I've been a swimmer since I was about six years old. I grew up an able-bodied, healthy kid and I love swimming. I love the family that the club um, created and I really love pushing myself and seeing the results. But unfortunately, when I got to the end of high school, I hadn't achieved what I thought I needed to, to be a successful swimmer, and I didn't have the money to keep going. It's incredibly uh, expensive, but it's also a full-time job. So I left swimming, I gave it up, knowing well and truly that I hadn't given it my best. And I moved to Melbourne, which consequently is where I had my accident, which put me on the path to becoming a Paralympian. A couple of weeks before my 20th birthday, uh, I fell from a fifth floor balcony in Melbourne. To this day, I still have no memory as to what happened and the doctors believe my drink was spiked. So I was in a coma for a week and when I woke up, I found out they had amputated my right leg. It was then my decision to go to a below knee amputation. And that was purely because the doctors said I would have greater mobility with a below knee prosthetic. I had no interest in getting back into sport, but everyone who did contact me during that time, they were very adamant I would end up back swimming and at the Paralympics. And they knew, knew me better than I knew myself because within a month, I was back in the pool. And five months later, I joined Melbourne Dick Centre and I was training. And a year to the day of that accident, I made the Australian Dolphin swim team for the World Championships.